Now at six, the debate over DACA is setting up a spending showdown in Washington, D.C. Democratic lawmakers threatening to shut down the government if Republicans and the Trump administration don't reach a deal to protect the so-called Dreamers. Today, one Republican claimed there was a deal, but it was short-lived. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi is live in the nation's capital following all of this for us. Mola? Well, good evening, Elliot. You know, this has been a fluid process all day today. Lawmakers going back and forth, trying to strike a deal. Some of them meeting with the president. Frankly, uh, there really have been mixed messages all day long. Uh, that bipartisan group of senators that you mentioned uh, saying at one point that uh, they had reached an agreement in principle. The White House later on saying, actually, no, there is no deal in place, and they still have a long way to go. Uh, since the president scrapped DACA, as you know, back uh, in the fall, Congress has been working to address uh, several immigration challenges, all of them playing out here as we're watching as they try to strike this deal. Those challenges include DACA itself, the DREAM Act, uh, the Diversity Visa Lottery Program, chain migration, family reunification, and uh, border security, which is really where this deal uh, that they're working on might ultimately hinge. What kind of border security uh, can lawmakers agree on? Will it be a combination of a wall and some fencing, uh, increased border patrol, and maybe some new technology that could deter uh, border crossings? Uh, or will it just be that uh, big, beautiful wall as President Trump uh, promised on his campaign trail. Of course, uh, the president insists that wall funding is essential to any immigration deal that he will sign. He says if it's not part of the deal, funding specifically for uh, a brick and mortar style wall. He says that if it's not part of the deal, he won't sign it. Now, it's unclear if this uh, agreement in principle that these uh, bipartisan uh, lawmakers, this group of bipartisan lawmakers, it's, it's unclear uh, if wall funding is a part of that deal. But, you know, Elliot, it's important to note that uh, even if this bipartisan uh, group of six uh, comes to any sort of agreement, uh, they still have to go and take that deal back to the other 94 members uh, of the Senate. Um, and immigration is about as dicey and uh, challenging of an issue that exists in Washington. They have to get, you know, broad agreement beyond that six. And then, obviously, ultimately, uh, the president will have to sign off on it. So it's important to caution that an agreement in principle uh, is not exactly a done deal. Uh, in this uh, current climate here in Washington, uh, a done deal is really uh, once it's passed and once it's signed. So that's where we, where we stand right here. It's been a thorny issue, a difficult one for lawmakers to tackle. And also after the comments reported today by the Washington Post, we'll see uh, what happens next with immigration. Mola Lenghi reporting for us live in Washington. Thank you for that update.